Welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid. My name is Drunken Life, I'm your host, and we are following the story of Aaron, a carpenter. I don't know what day it is. I'm not real sure. As you can see, we have a half tank of gas. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading down to the houses in the south. It's right down here. And since you guys kind of missed all of this due to my incompetence, <laughs> I guess what I'll, what I'll do is I can kind of fill you in, show you all the stuff. So it's going to be a lot faster this way. I think there's a barbecue grill down here that we're going to want. And we're going to also grab some antidepressants too. As my Aaron here is pretty severely depressed at this point. If we can find some books, that would be good as well. That will bring down his depression. Somehow that works. I don't know. Whenever I've been depressed and read a book, I don't, I don't think that it's worked the same way. But hey, it's not... The, in real life might be a little bit different. In the Project Zomboid world, a book makes, cures you of depression. All right. So we're just going to hop over here. This is one of the houses. And you can see there are bodies laying around. That's because I've already kind of cleared this. Make sure there's nothing behind this here. Let's check these out. I still need a uh, digital watch. And I don't know if I checked these guys out. I'm sure I did, but better to be safe than sorry. You know, who knows? I might get lucky here. I might have to be a digital watch on one of these bodies. grab this newspaper and there's our uh, propane tank right there moving right along we actually have part of our building already up i got an idea about what i want to do i'm going to dismantle that tv before we leave as well that's first aiders aids for beginners we've already got that book we just haven't started reading it yet we got about 100 pages in still need to read farming for beginners as well let's go ahead and read this see how how much it is severely de depressed Went from severely depressed to f just a little sad. Okay, I can't just, I gotta pick it up, I think, yeah. Now, once we get electricity again, I don't know when that's gonna happen. But, uh, we'll get things like these green light bulbs. We can actually light up our house in different colors. Make it all nice and pretty. Another body. He had the key on him. A little bit thirsty, but uh, go ahead and fill this water bottle up. And I think right next to us is going to be the bathroom a griddle pan and a saucepan. I wonder, can you cook anything in the saucepan or is it just primarily just a weapon? Go ahead and grab that bleach. All the rest of stuff might be all right. Let's fill these bottles. We might dismantle some beds as well. I figured this, uh, we're going to go to. Uh, the uh, right of your screen here in a second and see if uh, there's because there's a house up there as well as a shed we did not get a chance to check out because we didn't have carpentry tools on us and then to the uh, bottom left of your screen there's going to be uh, more houses but we're not going to check out those today we're just going to uh, get this stuff done. Set up our propane tank, our propane uh, barbecue. Maybe cook a little bit. See what else we can find. Some this right here. We'll go ahead and take the, uh, the nails as well. Leave the planks here. Might come back to pick them up. But for now, we really don't. Close that door just in case. You never know. Let's pull out, some, pull out my spear. Okay, nothing here. A pillow we really don't need. Okay, go ahead and take it. I'm going to, I am. I'll wear the skirt if I have to. As you can see, I've changed clothes. Because I was thinking that a lot of my problems with my anxiety was uh, the fact that my clothes were kind of bloody. 
And sure enough, it kind of went away. And I am a smoker too, so... That makes things a re really kind of hard to, to diagnose. Alright, we're going to go ahead and let's see. Anything coming? No? Alright, let's go ahead and remove this propane tank. Here we are. We'll go ahead and grab it and take it back to the car. Probably should have dumped all my stuff out of the car. I didn't. And give it a little bit more, uh, more space. Yeah, I can't do it right there. I can't do it right here. We'll put the barbecue right next to us. Beautiful. I got a half a tank of gas. Just got to watch my gas really, really carefully. Because uh, I want to be, I don't want to get too low because I want to go back to uh, Slocum Lake and uh, finish pulling out the rest of that gas stuff off. There's items in the seat in the back. There's also a sledgehammer. We're getting really close. I think we're almost at level five uh, carpentry. When we get to level six, we'll be able to actually build stairs. And that's when stuff starts to get fun. All right, we're, if we went down that road, we would head for, we'd see some more houses, which I've pretty much cleared out down there too. Now, because the helicopter came, there's always a chance so there's gonna be uh, more down there. All right, here we go. There's another barbecue right there for, uh, it's good for, with charcoal, but we're not going to worry about it. This will make uh, cooking a lot easier. Let me check these bodies. Nothing. Okay. Just making sure that there aren't any, uh, I didn't miss a digital watch. It's possible. It's very possible. Given my history with this game that I could miss things left and right. No, uh, in the comments people like to remind me. Let's go ahead and wash ourselves down. Zarin here likes to be clean. Wonderful. Antidepressants. There we go. Let's go ahead and take these pills. Got to make him a little bit less sad, right? I will, we can dry ourselves off with the dish towel. We'll grab that baking pan just in case we uh, find some flour and sugar. And butter. I'm guessing that's how you make a cake. Never done it in Project Zomboid. Right? Nothing here. Lipstick. Any kind of books? Ah, a book right there. We'll grab this newspaper. And uh, let's go ahead and read this. Didn't look like the antidepressants did much for me. But the book will. Nothing like hearing a little anti de anti de like a little depression with a... Uh... A little anti... Uh... A little depression with a little... Uh... A book. I wonder what kind of book it is. Wonderful. We'll probably come down here again and grab some of these, um, these posters and whatnot. Did you pick this up? Ah, it's throwing errors. My electrical hadn't been going up all that much, but I just started working on it. If I can get to level one. Man, that makes things a lot easier. Level two, mechanical. Level one. In, uh... Electrical. I'm in good shape. All right, let's uh, pop this door open. Yeah, it's closed. Just dis disassemble it. Someone had mentioned this in like a like a couple a couple series back. Like drunk, why don't you just disassemble the door rather than try to bust it down? It's like, man, that's it's actually quite brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? Wonderful. We just got to worry about zombies being in here. All right, let's see what else we got. Welding rods. Yeah, we can go ahead and grab that propane torch. Welding rod. 
screwdriver, scrap metal I'm not real sure about. I'll leave the electronics uh, scrap there. More welding rods. I think that's it. Ah, you know what? Let's grab these door hinges too. All right, we might drive a little bit further up. Way up this road, there's a, uh, like a small, like, not really a cabin, but like a shed or something. Up like a medium-sized shed. I don't even know how to explain it. But if I remember right, there was nothing in there, so. We're going to see. But there should be some crates up here. Here we are. And I've been out up here also. I just remember there being some stuff that I might be interested in. Let's go ahead and transfer all this. I'll have a little bit more space and uh, won't be weighted down. This area is pretty remote. There's gonna be zombies, but just not not as many as in this in the cities, which make it's okay. It makes for a much longer run, that's for sure. Nothing in there. Empty. I could take these uh these crates as well. A metal sheet. Go ahead and grab those. Someone had mentioned something about metalworking in the comments and welding rods. Still need a uh, a welder's mask. Nothing there. We got in here a sack. Very good. So we can take our carrots and put them in the shed. Red paint. Go ahead and grab. We can find a paintbrush. Once we get stuff going, we can actually start painting our our place up. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Tent peg. I'm not going to worry about it. Adhesive tape. I'm going to grab it. I think I had... I don't know what, what adhesive tape is good for. I wish... Oh, a bag of concrete powder. We'll grab those. That. Um, I wish I knew what it was good for. I'm going to go ahead and grab these hammers. Because I can make uh, spears and attach these things to the end. PK fertilizer. I've heard that's pretty rare. A frying pan, a bucket. Let's go ahead and grab that bucket. All right. I want to grab it. Nah. Nothing on him. Okay. Cool. Now I could go further up here, but I'm not going to. We're going to head home, I think. We got a uh, pretty pretty good amount of loot. Now the house is down to the bottom. Well, there's a forging for a beginner's book that I didn't grab. I think I was just too full. So we'll have to make another uh, trip down there. Relatively quick. But we can get our uh, our house in order pretty pretty quickly here. I'm imagining I, I can actually build up a, um, a second floor before we even have to go back into Slocum Lake. Don't want to wait too long because of the uh, zombies. You know, because he... The zombies actually, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The multiplier. They're going to be more thick the longer I wait. There's another one right there. First zombie I've seen in a while. There we go. Sorry, you guys. That, that, that little beeping you hear is both uh, Slack and Discord going off. Forgot to turn it off.
usually I turn on OBS. Problem with turning on OBS is anytime I get a follow uh, follow from from uh, on Twitch, it kind of goes crazy. <laughs> so I turned off OBS and forgot to uh, close out uh, Discord. And Slack is the uh, the thing that I talked to, to the developers through. All right, let's go ahead and set up our barbecue here. Right there. Wonderful. I know a number of you guys had mentioned that I probably need to uh, water these plants pretty quick. I'm going to get on that. I don't know if it's going to be this episode. It'll probably be the next. Grab this propane tank. And we'll set it up. Now I don't have to worry about, like, making a fire. It just seems safer. Here we go. All right, now what? Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, pull all, all the stuff out. I might end up uh, going ahead and grabbing a sack and... I don't know, maybe we'll disassemble this and then we'll put the uh, carrots in here. Because carrots will be good for trapping. Catching rabbits. Some wabbits. Got it. Very good. Fishing tackle. Oh, that's in the trash can. Isn't that weird? There's a screwdriver. I don't know if I if I looked at that. No, we're gonna just go ahead and move all this stuff over. I'll eventually build another shed and move uh, all this junk over. And make this entire room a uh, carrot. Farm. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. A carrot farm inside. Because carrots like dark things. You'd think that potatoes would too. Because you know like in the old times. Potatoes. They used to cook them. They used to like grow them in the cellar. Like underneath the. Uh, like you would have like a. Like a little like trap door. In the kitchen that you'd lift up. And that's where your potatoes would grow. And you just pick them up. And like. I guess wash them off. And throw them in a. Uh. Throw them in a pot and cook them. So you'd think that the potatoes would be good too, but I don't think that's the case. I don't know if anybody else knows, let me know in the comments. Is it true to form? Potatoes need to be in like a, a dark, dry, damp place. Here we go. If that's the case, I might have to build another shed for the potatoes. All right, we'll shovel this up. Take some dirt. Yeah, I was watching this podcast. Uh, it was like an argument between a vegan and a like a nutritionist. And the vegan was talking about how we used to get our B12 from the dirt. So like, like people, they, what they would do is they would... Um, you know, like maybe like cook a, say like grow a carrot, they'd pull the carrot out and they wouldn't wash it off all the way in the dirt because it, you know, B12 comes from bacteria. The dirt would actually uh, have bacteria that would create B12 in your gut. This is his one of his arguments against eating meat. I don't buy it. I mean, I get, I, I get it that it's like a, you know, it could be a thing. B12 and bacteria, that is true. But he was saying that the because of all the pollutants and stuff in the world now, um, in the dirt, and all the the uh, pesticides, that B12 can't be... Uh, animals, when they eat the dirt, they uh, don't get B12 as much, so they have to give them supplements. Go ahead and grab this sack. I'm a meat eater myself. <laughs> I like, I like eating animals. In fact, uh, there are times where 
Nothing sati satiates me. All right, right here. I think that'll be enough. All right, we got that. We need a little bit packish. I can drop this sack and drop the shovel. Don't know if I need the trowel. I might. Got two worms out of the deal. It's good for uh, farming. Smoke a cigarette. Aaron thinks about his next move. What's he going to do? <laughs> Seed bag. That's actually quite brilliant. I'm glad they added this. A place to store all your seeds. So we got uh, carrot packages. And open one. And it's not, uh, it's not showing. Hmm. Maybe I need the trowel. Let's see now. No? There we go. To go, man, you're such an idiot. There we go, and we'll have carrots in no time. Probably gonna have to, it's probably gonna be dry as a bone. We're gonna have to pay real close attention to the water and stuff for it. There we go. All right, one more. Wonderful. All right, our first carrot seeds are planted now. This is going to be kind of tw tricky with the isometrics. There we go. So this one right here. Yeah, these isometrics, it's... These isometric graphics make it pretty difficult. There's one right there. And it looks like that's it. Good enough. I think everything's back in. We'll have to continue building in the next episode. I'm building and maybe... Uh, Cooking and farming. Doing a little bit of fishing too. Although the fishing will go a lot faster if I can just find a book. Grab these cooking pots. Let's go grab some water. Sterilize this water. And I might try to cook some rice. Finish up the rest of this uh, fish. We don't have a lot of food. In terms of like what we can cook with like combination wise. But when we head back to Slocum Lake. We'll do a sweep of the houses. We want to find some other things as well. See if we can take care of all the food. Grab one thing of rice. I might grab that pineapple too. Grab the fish. Maybe some marinara. And the pineapple. Fish, pineapple, and marinara rice. Yum. <laughs> That is if we can cook with a pineapple. I don't know. It might just be reserved for salads. Okay, so we... These aren't tainted anymore. We're going to go ahead and grab one of those. Where'd it go? Oh, I bet you it's in my main inventory. Good move. 
move that over here. Or the kitchen knife just in case I have to cut up the pineapple. I don't know if that's going to be a necessary thing. Here we go. Kitchen knife. Also do honey, I guess. You bet they don't have soy sauce in here. You really do up some uh, Asian food. Okay, I don't have to. I can't cut it. It's no longer fresh, so it's gonna make me sad if I eat it. All right, fine. Do a little bit more fish. Not the best, but <clears throat> it should work. It should work. All right, so it's 2340. Kind of dark in here. I think I'm done here. My name's Dragon Life. I do Project Zomboid videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I also do colony simulations as well as city builders. If that's something, if that's your thing, you can always subscribe to my channel. You can also like this uh, video. It always helps the channel or dislike it. I'm going to water some plants while I'm talking. If you enjoy watching streams live, I'm on Twitch. TV forward slash drunk on life five days a week. You can always check me there. I might actually be live right now. In fact, you do Twitter, have twitter.com forward slash drunk on life as well. You can just do a search for drunk on life and you will find me. At any rate, hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know what we're going to be doing next episode. Maybe building a little bit more before we go back into Slocum Lake. At any rate, hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys on the Flizzy. Bo shizzle. Bye-bye, y'all.